joining us. We're having a very delicious conversation here on the couch. Good We're going to get really quiet now. Yeah. 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 Freeze like, up. All of a sudden, it's going to get quiet. Yeah. Yeah. We can just sit in stony silence. We don't. We don't like when cameras are rolling. Yeah. Cameras are rolling. It just shuts us down. Yeah. Yeah. Behind the scenes, the on fire, you guys. Um, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> yeah, what did <laughs> you just say? We were talking about Behind the scenes is on fire. <laughs> it was <all> that <laughs> was it. my attempt. I know you're Got both it. musicians. This is embarrassing because that was Got my attempt it. at speaking freestyle. That was music? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the film, because there are so many beautiful lines, and you mm. sort of like, if I had to think of my favorite line, I don't even know what it would be because there are just so many. That's cool. How do you sort of get outside yourself and thinking about that and just. Let it, let well, like, it be real yeah. to you and organic to you. First of all, I, I do want to just say that like it's awesome that those lines are in the movie because a lot of the times, uh, the lines are very over the top at times and like it's a super heightened way of speaking. And it, it's often that you know the screenwriters would be like, ah, that's not realistic, we're not going to put that in there. But they put almost every iconic line into the movie, right. which is so important. But it's also, it was sometimes challenging for actors like us because they are heightened and they're over the yeah. top. I think the most important thing for me in my performance was that I didn't like mumble over Gus. I didn't try to make Gus like too like, like you know Gus is theatrical. He is, and then he's over right. the top, and he's like <laughs> super confident. And like I had to play him that way. And a lot of actors are always like, oh, I want to be real and subtle, but like if Gus was real and subtle, he'd be boring. So when those lines come out of his mouth, they make sense. Have you guys ever egged anybody's house in real? Um, this happens in the film, and the girl yeah, deserves yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> I've never egged anybody's house, but. Uh, the, the cool thing about doing that scene is like I was actually blind when we did it because I put in, I put in real blinding contacts and stuff. No, so. I know Shailene had said she'd give you props because she said it's actually a really difficult thing to do and deal with it. Yeah, yeah they were like he at times <laughs> on the set he'd be like, I, I, my eyes I have to take them out they're really hurt and I was like, I'm glad I'm not like you know. Not yeah, but in that scene, so I've never actually egged a house because I never saw the house. Is what I was trying to say, I never saw the car. Like I never saw the house. Did you really, really nail blind. it? Because you nailed it. Yeah, or is well, that they, movie magic? It's a little bit movie magic, okay. a little bit actually me because you know Ansel has to push turn me towards but like when you see the eggs throwing they like line me up perfectly you know what I mean like yeah. they lined it so I would actually hit it but, but also there's no there's no shots of like him th like it's not a, a like full shot of him throwing the egg and it hitting the car it's like him throwing the egg and then it cut to the car and it hits yeah. the car so yeah. like then they just shoot we all got to throw eggs at the car like it was I mean, fun actually yeah. like I not wanted to throw all of them I was like no let me throw some <laughs> yeah so, so like we would just stand near the car and just like peg the car so and they fun. would just shoot that yeah you and Shailene, well, the three of you have been spending a lot of time together. You've gone on tour. What is sort of the experience of, it's almost like a rock star sort of experience that you guys had traveling around the country this past, I think it was this past month, yeah. doing press for it. Yeah. I mean, it was like front page of newspapers, girls <laughs> screaming, girls crying. Can There's a cool of... picture on the front page of the newspaper of all these girls screaming, and this one dad like this, <laughs> holding his ears, like the one fingers man, in the, the ears. Yeah, the one guy in the audience. That was responsible for all the underage girls <laughs> yeah. in the audience. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it, it, was, it was. It was. It was. He was responsible for all the underage girls. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, maybe no. just his daughters. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, hold on, I got it. We do this to each other all the time. We make each other laugh all the time like this, and I just start crying. So there's the scene where your girlfriends and you are mm -hmm. making out, mm -hmm. and you get a little handsy. Mm -hmm. Was that improvised? Um, no, actually, it was, it was so embarrassing. It was, was in it this, it was in the script. It said, Isaac honks the horn about squeezing the boob. I swear to God, it's true. And no. the director screams out. Director is one of my good friends, Josh. And like he, he, it was like we were just hanging out, the two of us, not like we were on a set and not like this girl who I just met like 10 minutes ago. He's like, honk the horn <laughs> on set. And I was just like, oh my God, it's a disaster. Uh, I want to hear about your Jared Leto story. Didn't you meet Jared Leto recently? Yeah, well, it's basically like, that, that, uh, was I it like it, a Van Housen moment, meeting, meeting Van Housen? Yeah, I mean, the thing that I love about Jared Leto is that like he's able to do music and act. I mean, he's such a good musician, such a good actor. You know, I'm in a band with my brother, so it's like the hardest thing in the world is scheduling. <laughs> like, it's an almost impossible, like with my brother's schedule and, and mine, like trying to keep up our band. So, so I saw him at a screening for Dallas Buyers Club and like after, and I was talking to him and we got, we were getting on so well. Um, and we, you know, we were, I was talking basically about his movie, and then finally I started saying like, you know, like, I'm in this band, and he was all wanting to know about the band, and then I was talking to him, an awesome actor, and I was like, how, how do I schedule it? Like, how do you do it? How do you schedule? And then this like, th this beautiful blonde model walked up to us, and he was like, he was like, hold on one second. <laughs> and I was just like, well, I'll we'll never talk to Jared Leto again, and I never did. I haven't seen him <laughs> since. And the rest of the party, I was like, Trying to get it, I was like, nope, not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been seen since in public, he hasn't been seen <laughs> yeah. anywhere. <laughs>
So on set, did, you, did any of that happen? Did you guys talk about, would you ever make music together? It was fun, like we lived right next door to each other in our apartment, so I would play him like rock music that he hadn't heard and play him my music too, and then he'd play me EDM, which I really didn't know anything about, yeah. and I grew to really like when I was on set with him, and he'd play me some of his tracks, and I'd play him for my tracks, it was nice. Yeah, it's fun. We we like I think that that's why we get along so well. It's like we both are very passionate about like not only acting, like music and uh, like always all a lot of creative things. Now we're talking we want to score a movie together. It'd yeah, it'd awesome. be so cool. Uh, like you know, blend the electronic and the and like the like you know, good like real instruments and stuff mm -hmm. and like I think it could be really cool. You guys, I have a quick little like just like first thing that pops oh, in your cool. head. Um, Imperial Affliction is the book in the movie that's supposed to be a perfect book and it's like Shailene's like holy grail. What is, you, what is your imperial imperial affliction movie? Mm. On the waterfront. Oh, so good. Um, good stuff. Maybe Taxi Driver. Band. It's a weird movie. Favorite band? Beatles. Beatles. Matt Zoe. He's not a, he's a producer. Who, what kind of music? Um, like a film producer? No, you know, like EDM, per, like oh, okay, production, okay. yeah. TV show? Um, right now, I like Game of Thrones a lot. Um, I've been, I really like uh, New Girl. It's really funny. Item of clothing? Sneakers. Jeans. Um, athlete? Uh, Victor Cruz. Play Magic Johnson. Actor or actress? Dustin Hoffman. Joaquin Phoenix. These have good taste. This popped in my head. Okay, I've never heard you talk about it. I know, I don't think about it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just come on. Before I let you go, what is this about Shailene convinced you guys not to wear deodorant? And you... Yeah, she, I mean, Shay somehow always smells great. And so do some <laughs> girls always seem to smell good, even if they're not wearing yeah. deodorant. But like, Ansel and I started to smell really bad on set. You know, because we weren't wearing deodorant. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And then we found out later that like, Shay has like special crystals that make her smell yeah, good. Yeah, so like, she so wasn't wearing nothing. I she... told Ansel, he was like, by the way, are you still not wearing deodorant? And I was like, uh, I went back to it and I was like, and you smell bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I didn't ever smell that bad. I mean, no, never that bad because we kind of like, <clears throat> we we stopped. We started wearing deodorant again about. So I, I, I about told like my best show. friend from childhood, I was like, yo, man, like I've not been wearing deodorant recently, and like I don't smell bad anymore. I think it's a thing that like if you don't wear it, you stop smelling bad. Like you smell and whatever. You stop smelling and then you go and, over then, the hump. and then he was like, no, you're just used to yourself smelling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you smell, you smell bad right now. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So you know what I do now? I put on like just a tiny bit because that because yeah. Shailene always like comes and hugs me and she's like, ah, oh, she's like, or if I'm wearing deodorant, she's like, you're wearing deodorant, aren't you? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I just like, like I put on like a happy medium. Like I don't like go like this. some people go like this for like an hour. It's like disgusting. It's so so I just funny. put on like, like a few swipes. I've never heard of anybody saying like it was a way to not piss a girl off is to not wear deodorant. Well, yeah. some yeah. <laughs> well, some you know, some girls are that's Shailene in a yeah. nutshell. She's a different she's a different girl. You know, that, that's, that's why that's people love her. Cool. Yeah, 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 because it's not like the same, she's you know, so, she's not predictable. She's so original. Yeah. And then also as an actress too, she's so unpredictable. That's what's great about when it. When you're yeah. unpredictable as a person, I think it, it translates to screen. And to take us out, and not to put you on the spot, but can we get a seated break dance? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> this has become my thing now. <laughs> We're gonna quit our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>